From mid-century to contemporary, public to private, we're in search of the very best in art. Homes, happenings, stores, restaurants and people. Things that defy categories. The perpetual freshness and cool of modern never ceases to captivate us. Join us for another edition of Modern Dallas TV to discover what's going on and where in the modern world. The Dallas Architecture Forum, celebrating 20 years of inspired design dialogue, presents the Dallas Design Symposium, Redefining Space for Art, Chinati and Mass Mocha. Venue, Nasha Sculpture Center, November the 5th, from 1.30 to 3.30. You can get your tickets at dallasarchitectureforum.org. Modern Dallas Real Estate this week is at 4139 Rosa Road in the Midway Hollow neighborhood. And I'm here with Faisal Haloum with Briggs, Ream and Sotheby's International Realty. Faisal, through our journey of uh, featuring modern homes, it always seems it takes a great team to make something like this come together. I, I agree. And I, you know, the, the homeowners um, whom are uh, art galleries, but as you can see uh, from all the art on the, on the wall, uh, teamed up with uh, a fantastic architect, uh, Larson and Pettigo, uh, along with uh, a construction company named Thomas Development, uh, and uh, came up with this, you know, fantastic modern design home. I mean, it, it was truly designed for the homeowners. Absolutely, and obviously, as you we pan through the, the home, you can see their, their influence. Uh, but there's so many unique features to this home that make it significant. Yes, you know, I think it's the perfect layout. I don't say that about very many homes. Uh, you've got a fantastic master bedroom that has these wonderful windows that look out into this incredible backyard. You're situated on over a half, an, uh, right under a half an acre. You have a wonderful chef's kitchen that's open to the den slash family room and conveniently located to the uh, dining room. Uh, you also have a wonderful butler's pantry with a warming drawer, uh, lots of storage. Uh, you've got a three-car garage. So Faisal, one of the features of this house, obviously, is the wine room. Yes. You know, the, the homeowners are, are wine connoisseurs, <laughs> and so that was very important to them. Uh, it's uh, temperature controlled and holds over 1,100 bottles of wine. Well, and, and it's actually just a great, comfortable room with a great view. It's uh, fantastic. Again, every room in the house has wonderful views to the, to the outdoor. So, you know, one of the, the important facets of any home is the curb appeal and the outdoor areas. It either makes or breaks a home. This is just phenomenal. Yes, I, you know what I love about the home, you know, when, when you look at a curb appeal, there's, there's nothing tricky about this home. Literally, the lines are very clean. Uh, the materials they use are, you know, uh, very modern uh, and timeless. And uh, that's what I will say about this house. This house is timeless. Um, and I think it's, a, you know, it's, it's the kind of home that appeals to many different buyers. Uh, whether you're an empty nester or a young family or, you know, young professionals. Uh, the trend I see now is more single level living. And I think that, that, that that's something we offer that not very many homes uh, offer, especially on, you know, uh, on this size uh, lot, which is a little over, uh, a little less than a half an acre. And again, you've got a, an amazing pool out there. Uh, it's a salt water pool. Part of the backyard, uh, you've got AstroTurf and then you've got um, obviously, you know, natural grass. So for if you have dogs that <laughs> prefer one over the other. <laughs> it's a great option. So uh, Faisal, what's the home listed for? The home is listed for $2,475,000. And you can find it on Faisal's website at FaisalHaloom.com. Correct. Or if you'd like to see all the modern listings in Dallas, visit our website at ModernDallas.net. Thanks. The modern lifestyle begins in the home. 
and you'll find a range of unique living spaces across Dallas's most desirable neighborhoods. Start your search by meeting one of these modern realtors. Poget began his career with a degree in architecture, followed by years of interior design work, including the interior design of several luxury high-rises and commissions for clients' dream homes. Poget's distinct background makes real estate a natural fit. Modern Dallas Art This Week is here at Craighead Green in the Dallas Design District and I'm here with Kenneth Craighead, one of the owners. Kenneth, we always come in and you've got three great shows. But Thank you. This one is a little different, but it's similar to all of them. Consistency with your gallery is unbelievable. Thank you very much. So we're here to see uh, Heather Gorman, Marcy uh, Crawford Harden, and Raymond Sa. Right. Three totally different artists. <laughs> Three completely different artists. Um, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I, I still believe there's a consistency with something that runs between all three. I, I haven't figured that out yet, but I believe there is something hiding somewhere. <laughs> so, so, so with that said, yes. tell us, let's, let's break it down a little bit, because Heather's work to Marcy's to Raymond, obviously starting here, Raymond's work is pretty abstract, colorful. Very but, graphic. Um, I think the, the, the thing that I have appreciated so much and I heard at the opening from so many people was, was the fact that this is freehand. It's not taped off, it's not you know, computer generated. You can really see the artist's hand on the canvas. And he still maintains such a clean, crisp line. And his color palette is so unusual, but it's so strong at the same time, I think. I, we we spoke amazing. about it, sort of an iconic kind of piece. I think so, I feel <laughs> that it is, yes, yes, I do. And then these smaller pieces with the, uh, the detailed stitching. He continues to work with paper and he stitches the edges of it and it, it, again it, it gets back to detail which that could be the one thing with all three artists I think. But um, lots of color, lots of detail, lots of, lots of attention to the smallest thing. So. And, then, and then moving on, talking about computerization, mm -hmm. Heather has got a nice integrated portion of her work. She does. Heather works with a lot of uh, just found objects. Um, um, some, some big limbs that she uh, burns and, and makes them black and, and rubs them down gets them perfectly smooth. And then she works with a 3D printer to make the little figures and animals that go on these pieces, which are very interesting to see. Yeah, I, I think the one with the dog. And the leash, I know it's amazing. Amazing I, work. Or she, it's, it's uh, again, the detail in it is unbelievable. Yeah. And obviously she's got a whole body of work beyond those pieces. Tell us a little bit about those. It's, uh, she worked on birch that was cut. One of the things that, that's new in this body of work is she's using the moth as her subject matter. And so one of the pieces are 13 moths that are cut, uh, mounted, and then there she worked on them with uh, scribing with a, um, into them carving and using ink and, and tiny, just tiny, tiny details that you can only see when you get up right up next to them. And then you see things like an octopus, you see animals, or it, they're just, again, the, the attention to detail is unbelievable. Yeah, I totally agree. And then there's Marcy's work. Right. Which is so different from the other two. <laughs> it is, it is. She, she is very different from the other two. Um, Marcy's study of nature, and it's as if you take um, a microscope and you get really close and you see the, the difference in the light and what, really it's all about light. Um, and then in reference to the other two, also getting down to the detail, when you walk up close to her paintings, you see these little scratches and etchings of little leaves and things that, that are just, again, it's, it's detail and things that, that take a lot of time to study and to see when, you, when you're up close to, uh, to the paintings. Well, consistently, these are great shows. Thank you. So Kenneth, how long does the show go on for? Where you're located? How can they find you? The show runs through November 11th. Um, we are at 1011 um, Dragon Street, the design district, and our website is craigheadgreen.com. And if you want to see all the modern art listings in Dallas, visit our website at moderndallas.net. Thanks, Kenneth. Absolutely. Appreciate it. The Dallas Architecture Forum, celebrating 20 years of inspired design dialogue, presents 365 Modern Living, a cocktail reception at the Park and Pearl High Rise Residence by Tom Kundig and Emily Summers, Monday, October the 30th, 6 to 8 p.m. You can get tickets at the Dallas Architecture Forum.org. 
One of the wonderful things about what we cover every year are home tours, architectural tours in Dallas. We've covered so many over the years and this year is no, uh, no doubt one of those years that there is significant homes that will be featured on the four home tours coming up. We've covered the Modern Mile Dallas, we have coming up Preservation Dallas's 2017 Fall Architecture Tour. What's more important about this tour, it's dedicated to the life and architecture of architect Frank Welsh. And I'm here with Preservation Dallas, who's uh, overseeing this tour, with Donovan uh, Westover. Donovan, this is a significant tour beyond all the other tours. Uh, this is, yeah, that we're doing a different type of tour this year. It's not going to be um, just historic homes as we uh, typically do, um, being Preservation Dallas. Um, Frank's passing just recently in June kind of shifted us into a different direction and everybody's got him on their minds right now. And so we decided to go out and um, pick up one of his house designs, his, his best house designs basically, um, one from each decade. And so we have started with the 1960s um, and then we have one from the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s and 2010. Um, and additionally, there is a patron tour house and a patron party house. So this will be eight Frank Welch houses all in a uh, one time slot on Saturday, October 28th. Um, the day begins at the Lamplighter School in North Dallas where Frank designed the uh, gymnasium and we'll be doing a symposium there, a discussion, and uh, Mark Lamster, the architecture critic from the Dallas Morning News, will be moderating our panel, which will um, include architect Mark Gunderson, architect Scott Marek, and builder John Hardy, who have all uh, worked very, very, very closely with Frank over the decades. And, um, and they're, they have a lot of funny anecdotes and a lot of cool insight and a lot of educational information as our tours usually have. Um, and then guests will actually kind of uh, depart and take off on their tour and they'll be able to walk through a visual representation of the evolution of Frank's work. Um, the 1960s house has got that kind of 1960s brutal look to it. The 1970s house has got that very sharp um, Brady Bunch look to it. The 1980s house, uh, you could see filled with black lacquer furniture back in the 80s, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the projects get very big um, as you come into the, the uh, more contemporary designs. Um, and that's when they actually start to include a massive amount of grounds. One of the house actually has a Frank Welch designed guest house. Um, it's going to be an exemplary day and uh, a really a once in a lifetime opportunity because nobody else is ever going to assemble eight of these houses again. Where can they find out more details and when is this tour? The tour is on Saturday, October 28th. Um, it's only one day, it's four hours, and um, information and tickets can be found at preservationdallas.org. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, we cover local modern events and the art scene. Check out the calendar and the arts page on our website at moderndallas.net. There are always great events from the Dallas Architecture Forum, Preservation Dallas, and the Dallas Center for Architecture has great walking tours in downtown Dallas. Open houses every week, always a great selection. You can create your own mini mod home tour and Todd Camplin covers the art scene for us, from art galleries to museums and artists. You can check out his page on the website. And lastly, if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary, home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, we appreciate you being part of our show. We'll see you later.